Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration be 2006, problem 26. We have the integral of 1 over ln x plus ln ln x dx. Okay, so the first thing I want to look at here is just notice that we've got a plus sign in the integral, which means we could break it up into two integrals, but usually in these kind of problems, that's not really what they want you to do, and it's probably going to be harder that way. And just noticing the similarity that we've got like natural log here and natural log here, it's making me think that this whole thing right here is somehow the product rule. So just looking at the product rule here and comparing to the integral, what we're saying is we want everything here, we want this to be what's inside of our integral. And so to match this with this, let's just look at this. Let's turn this into an integral just by integrating on both sides. And then what's going to happen here, because on the left side, we've got the derivative of f of g, the integral of the derivative, that's just going to be what's inside here. So this, is whole, so this whole thing is just going to be f times g plus c. But getting back to our integral, what we need to know is which part's going to be f, which part's going to be g, and how does this all work together? Well, what I can do here is just kind of try some things and see what works. So what I'm going to do is, looking at this second part, let's start with this f. Let's just call this, let's call this piece right here f. And if this is f, we're going to want to find an f prime over here. So let's start out with this. We'll have our f just equal to this. We'll call f equal to natural log of natural log of x, and then let's see what f prime is going to be just taking derivatives. So the derivative of this is just going to be 1 over natural log of x, and then we need the chain rule on this derivative of this is going to be 1 over x, so putting this all together, we're going to have 1 over x ln x. Now looking back at our integral, we don't actually have this 1 over x ln x, we just have 1 over ln x. Well, what I can do is actually, let's just kind of create that. So by just by multiplying in 1 over x, we're going to have this. I don't want to change it though, so let's multiply by an x over here. So by doing that now, over here, we have our f prime. So we're doing good here with this, and we're doing good here with this. But now in order for this to work, we've got this x right here. We need this here. This needs to be our g value right here. So let's make that assumption and see how that works. So if g is x, then we just take a derivative really quick. Derivative of x is going to be just 1. Well, it's really easy to create a one right here because that's not going to change the problem at all. So we can just kind of make up. So we'll just create a one right there. And then now we have our g prime. But now we have our integral in exactly the right form. This, all this right here is just the product rule. And we have all of our values down here at the bottom. So we can go right to our solution, which is going to be just f times g. And we have that right here and here. So putting this together for my final solution of this, we just get x times natural log, natural log x plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good one from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.